Okay, we'll start with the Mustard C49S, size 10. What we need is a piece of uh, adhesive lead wire or tape. So we just put that on at the tail. Now you can add as much as this as you wish. I just find it you get a nicer body if you use the tape here rather than regular wire, lead wire. So you can overlap it if you wish. So we go forward and we want a bit thicker body at the front. So we'll go to that and then we'll turn it back and we'll make a few turns just to get a thicker taper at the front. And we'll pull that off. There we are. And we'll get our thread. And we'll just give it a foundation of tying thread to hold the little tape in position. So then we go down here. And what we want now is a grey partridge feather ankle. You find these uh, just on the shoulder at the lower neck or shoulder of the partridge skin. So what we want is about a centimetre of fibres. Pull those off. Gather them together. This is going to be the the beard. Tie those in. Like that, that's perfect. And just secure the ends. And just finish that off like that. And what we need is a, I use a barred wood duck here, but I use these fibres without the barring on. So we just take two of these, and we want these as the antenna. So let's go down here. tie these in just like that that's very good just secure the ends go back down into the base again there then what we need is a pro fly fisher gamerous back or similar it's a medium one for this size of hook. So, want the eyes at this end. I want to tie this in. Just there like that. Then we secure that little tag. Perfect. Then, a piece of mono, regular mono. But what I do here is, if you tie mono in like this, it has a tendency to slip out. So with a ribbed nose pliers, I just place it in and squash it. So you get this ribbed end of the wire and it gives you much better purchase. I want this just on the other side, not all the way down. Up. like so then I need a this is a blue done hackle tie this thread up and we'll tie this in just at the base like this Secure the end down. Good. Then we need our dubbing. This is a grey rabbit flash blend. Very simple, very buggy. But this is just to give us a bit of volume. You don't want this super tight because 
you want it to give a little when we tie the rib in there. So you get a, a segmenting. Let me just put this on. Is that enough? Let's have a look. Tighten that up a bit. Let's go up over the body with this. We need a, just a pinch more. Do it. Get down to that, then we take our hackle and make the legs. Oops, blew that. You can make these legs as dense as you wish. Get that spin. Tie off the hackle. Forward. Rid of that, and we want our foil body over the top. You can push these down, wet them, push them down a little bit. foil body over sorry I forgot to move that back into the body like so then I have room to tie off Secure it, go in front, good, just give that a little whip finish, keep everything in place, then we take our rib, First turn that tighten it up. Second turn Why my tight thread back up again. Tidy that head up in a second. And good, I can remove the tying thread. Let's get rid of these fibers. Very useful tool, this the cauterizing tool, all sorts of jobs. Excellent, looking good. Just have to reposition this now for when I put the UV on and take the dubbing needle 
I want these two wood duct fibers aren't they bending upwards so we'll just position these that's good we're looking good then we'll just give it a coat of UV resin go very carefully to start with just to give the back of the body a little bit more volume That's it, that's the finished camera. Works just as good in fresh water as it does in salt water, or vice versa. Uh, give it a go. Thanks for watching.